Well, what's up, everybody? I hope you've had an awesome summer thus far. Of course, it's not quite over yet. And if we haven't had a chance to meet yet, I am Jen, and I'm the Director of Family Ministry here at Journey. All that means is I get to help create amazing spaces for everyone from newborns to high school seniors that help you build a faith that lasts a lifetime. Today, we're kicking off a quick two-week series called One Another. So if it's your first time joining us, you picked the perfect week to come and check it out. For the next two weeks, we're going to dig in on finding and cultivating relationships that will encourage you and help you be a better human, a better friend, one day a better employee, or way down the road, maybe a better husband, wife, or parent. Now, we all know that there are parts of life that are so great, right? I mean, sunsets, ice cream, tubing, movie nights, so many good things. But there are also moments and seasons of life that can be hard, scary, and tricky. And when those times happen, you and I need to know that there are people in our corner, people we can go to for advice, help, encouragement, or maybe just a hug. The relationship that gets us through those seasons though, well, they don't magically happen. Like any good relationship, it takes time and attention to create them. We can't just wait until we need people to find people. We have to be intentional now about investing in the relationships that we'll need and want later. So when life hits one of those bumps, when it's hard or tricky, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! What? <laughs> you said who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Okay, first of all, I'm not sure that these students are the correct age demographic to get that reference. And what? Yes, and- Come se on. Second, that's not what I was talking about. We were talking about how when life gets hard or scary or weird, who are you going to call? You know, to help you get through it. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm gonna call my dad. Oh, okay, well, um, great. Why would you call your dad? Well, when I was younger, he and my mom taught me a lot of stuff that I didn't necessarily understand at the time. You know, I, didn't, I just didn't get it. But as I got older, I saw how following their advice or their wisdom it kept me out of trouble. Like a lot of heartache and mistakes I, I avoided. That's still true. So I like getting their perspective on stuff. Well, okay, perfect. I mean, it's super helpful to have people with more life experience than you that you can talk to honestly about stuff. I have a couple of really good friends that I like to talk to about that kind of well, stuff. Well, I guess then it's your turn. What, what, why do you like to talk to them? Oh, well, um, I'd say that both of them do a great job of listening to me without judging me. Oh, well, explain that a little bit more. What, what do you mean judging you? Oh, yeah. Okay, great question. Um, I just mean, like, it doesn't impact our relationship negatively. So regardless of what I say or do, they're still gonna be there for me and they're still going to love me. Okay. They might correct me or disagree with me because after all, if what I'm saying or doing doesn't line up with what God says, it would be really unloving to not correct me or to disagree with me. In fact, that's that might be what I love most about them, really. Like they aren't afraid to call me on my stuff, but even when they do, I know we're still friends. Okay, okay, I see that. I, I feel that way about some of the people in my small group. Like mm -hmm. we get together and have fun and do stuff, but I also know that I can be honest with them about my stuff. Yeah, okay, so uh, what about you guys? Who are some of your people? Who would you go to for great advice? And who does a great job listening to you? Yeah, who makes you laugh the hardest? Or who would you go to with a crazy wild idea? Talk about that with your group for a couple of minutes and we'll be back. See, I like to think that if you have...